Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. I am so glad that you are learning Canva with me today. And today we're going to talk drawing, writing, coloring. It's so new that it says beta. That means that not everyone has it yet. I'm going to tell you, I am not an artist. I cannot draw, especially if it's on digital. Like I have a really hard time with the stylus tablet type of thing. Where do we get the app? Over here on the left hand side, click more. And because I've already used it, it's right here for me. Draw. If it's not there, then type in draw. If it's available to you, then it will be there. If it's not, then it should be there soon. I'm going to click this. You will notice that there are four different brushes. There's a size bar, a transparency bar, and some colors. If you click the plus, you can change the color to your brand color kits or the default color, or even add a brand new color of your choice. Here's the pen. The pen automatically for default starts off at 15. Here's the blue. Once you draw, a fifth thing pops up called an eraser where you can erase what you've drawn. You can increase the size of pen. Here's marker. Marker automatically starts on 50. Pen and marker are the same thing. It's just marker starts with 50 and pen starts at 15. So if both of them were at one, they would look exactly the same. And glow pen looks like neon writing. It's very, very cool. And then there's highlighter, which look at that. It's a box. I mean, it's square, which could have really cool implications for design. But there's what it looks like. It starts off on a 50 transparency, but you can change it to no transparency or even less. Now that we've gone over all of that, let's click done because now everything that's been drawn is one image. So I can do everything to this that I could do with an image, including go to the edit image button and add a bunch of things. If you have a stylus and tablet, you can, well, let me, Click something here. You can even write and draw. Now you can draw and write as well with a mouse. It's a little more difficult, but you can do it. Here are two images that I'm going to color in. And I'm going to choose a marker for this. And when I hover over these dots, these empty transparent spaces, the 50 is too small. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the size. I want to make sure that I cover this transparent space. I just used my mouse, gave a left mouse click, and there you have a circle. I can switch the color. So let's switch the color to red. Let's go up here. I did a little left click there. I want to make sure I cover the whole thing. So there's a white and in the Chrome browser, I can use a color picker to choose a color anywhere on my window. So if I would like this purple, then there it is. And I can use it there. And I changed my mind. I don't want white. I think I would like something else. What about this blue? Oh, there's still some white I see. You'll see my circles aren't perfect and that's okay. And now I want to change the color of the inside of this brush. I want to zoom in so that I make sure that I just stay inside of the black lines here. And for this one, I am going to use gray. Again, I'm just using the mouse. 
If you have a tablet with a pen, you can use that as well. I clicked done. I'm going to zoom back out and I will show you that again, this is an image and can be treated as an image. And they're all together in one color palette circle. I'm gonna right click this image and send it backwards. And now my color palette is perfect. What if someone changes their mind about what color they want? What if I want an orange on here instead? Then I could add a color and find the orange that I would like. Or what about a yellow? There we go. I need to increase the size. I click over it just like that. I click done and then I can send it backwards. And that's how I change the color on that color palette. Let's look at the pumpkin. Here's the thing. You do not have to be perfect, but you do need to stay within the lines. You do not want to go outside of the lines unless that's the look you're going for. And it doesn't even matter if you color over the black lines here. Let me increase this to this to be able to get more colors faster. But what if you do accidentally go over the black lines so that it's going to show? Like that might show on the other side. I will show you how to take care of that in here in a second. Of course you could color pick a better option okay that looks pretty good but I'm a little worried that this is going to be too far out of the line so I erase that and then go back to my marker and fill in right there and then I click done and send it to backwards and it looks amazing as you see here, the, the palette color that I've chosen is here. If I had another one, then I would be able to use that as well. But I don't have a brown color palette there. Just if you make a mistake, make sure you erase it before you click done or you will not be able to fix it. Done. Send backwards. And there we ha have it. All of the images I chose for this are Canva Pro images, but I did search outline and filtered it down to free to show you that there are some free images that you could utilize this effect as well. If you like this kind of technique, then you're really gonna enjoy the one I did on magically changing elements. And it's where I feature a cool technique of mine called crop and cover. So be sure to watch that one right now. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoy that tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure you are subscribed and turn on all the notification bells. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.